Uh, I play Don John in the play, and Don John is the is the bad guy, really. He's up to mischief and he wants to mess everybody's plans up. Uh, and he, he refers to himself as a plain dealing villain. Um, so he's a bad guy generally. And, uh, and so I'm playing him quite miserable, but with two henchmen, who are played by these two guys behind me. And they uh, do my bidding, but actually, the worst of the two is Baraccio, who's played by Fraser, and he comes up with a scheme to thwart the plan and, and, and mess everything up for the wedding. So um, that's what I'm, what I'm going to do. And I think I was cast because I don't have any hair on top, because all the baddies in the movies are bald for some reason. I don't know why. You don't get a bald president of the United States. You don't get a bald prime minister. You don't get a bald um, nice guy, do you? Apart from Bruce Willis, I suppose. Um, any other bald guys? There? John Luke Picard. Yeah, so perhaps I'm perhaps I'm spoiling the uh, generally the bald guys are the bad guys. So I'm going to grow a little beard, bold head, eye patch. <laughs> Maybe Pirates of the Caribbean though. That would be more sort of mm, sir. Okay, so I play Baraccio as Don John said. He's evil. All three of us are evil. I like to think of myself as the most evil, dripping with evil, <laughs> sinister, horrible character. So a cross between. Mm, I think Darth Vader and um, somebody else that's very evil. People do, <laughs> in fact. Imagine Darth Vader, except back in Italian kind of um, times. Uh, he's a nasty piece of work, he really is. He comes up with a plan um, and uh, actually uh, manipulates Don John a little bit into actually executing this plan. He's not a very nice character. I play the part of Comrade, who, in contrast to Horatio, who's a bit of a sort of drunken, ragged area sort of type. Oh. I consider, well, it's true, it's true. I That's consider myself, I absolutely, I absolutely. I consider myself to be more of a rather gentleman, and also to a certain extent uh, a confidant of uh, Don John. When we first come on, I'm basically persuading him to uh, not to show his true evil nature, to, to bide his time and to. Uh, um, show himself when the time is right to frame the season for his own harvest. And of course, Don John says, No, I'll do what I like. Or well, what's that effect? It's all in Shakespearean language. But um, I like to think I'm his confidant. I also, in contrast to my, my fellow henchmen here, I'm not really so evil, I don't believe. I think I'm more just of a, a loyal character. I also believe myself to be a gentleman, and um, I. Um, identify myself as such when I'm caught by uh, Dogberry and his uh, incompetent charges. I say, I'm a gentleman and I, I don't recognise his court, words to that effect. I get to call um, Dogberry an ass, which is good as well, I, I enjoy that bit. And, um, the big difficult, the, the big challenge we're going to have in playing it is, is all having done so much in pantomime and being pantomime villains is not to get in, or encourage the audience to start booing and hissing, but what we want to do is bring them to the point where they feel like they want to boo and hiss, but they kind of think, oh, we better not do it because it's a bit Shakespeare. I do at some points have to hold back on it. It's <laughs> <laughs> very hard. Save that for the last performance. Okay. If I had my mouth, I would bite. If I had my hand liberty, I would do my bidding. In the meantime, let me be what I am and seek not to alter me. Can you make no use of your discontent? I make your use of it, for I use it only. Who comes here? Ah, what news, Baraccio? I can give you intelligence of an intended marriage. Will it serve to build mischief on? Who is he that betrays himself to unquietness? Married it is your brother's right hand. Who? The most exquisite Claudio? Even he? Ha ha ha! A proper squire. And who? And who? Which way looks he? Marry our hero, daughter and heir to Leonardo. A <laughs> very forward march, chick. How came you to this? Whilst I was being entertained, I saw the Prince of Claudio hand in hand in sad conference. And I hid. There I heard it agreed upon that the Prince would woo Hero for himself, and having obtained her, would give her. Count Claudio. <laughs> come, come, let us thither. We can build some mischief on. 
That fellow has all the makings of my overthrow. If I can cross him anyway, I'd honour myself every way. Are you with me on this? To the, to the death, death, my lord. lord.